Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your February 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy. It just fell out, so let's go with it. We have the sun, isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful energy there, Virgo. The sun, the most positive card of the tarot deck. Okay, let's pull another card. What do we have for Virgo, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Virgos. Thank you. February 2021 message virgo needs to hear thank you oh we have family and message for virgo angels what is the message that virgo needs to hear the most thank you february 2021 what does virgo need to hear the most that flew out we have let go the sun can be a card of letting go as well. It can be a releasing energy. So I'm going to pull four cards, Virgo. It roughly works out as one card per week. Though divine timing and all that, the messages may well overlap. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, message for our lovely Virgos, please. Message for Virgo. Okay. So I'm just going to put these out. So we have the Hanging Man, Six of Pentacles, and the Strength card. Five of Cups. What do we have for Virgo, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, Message for our lovely Virgos. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I have the Queen of Swords, Two of Pentacles with the Hanging Man. Six of Pentacles clarify, is clarified by the Star. Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Strength card, is clarifying the Strength card and the Five of Cups. We've got the Hanging Man again. And I've got strength again. <laughs> okay, Virgo. Okay. So the sun energy is, is the most positive, powerful, beautiful energy of tarot. It is divine light is shining on you, first and foremost. Light in the path before you. Definitely this energy can be about letting go of obstacles, challenges. This is an energy of good times ahead. It's a card of success, stepping into your light things beginning to happen so there's definitely this kind of energy if you felt that you've been stuck which i definitely feel you have it feels like you're in a period of limbo something is being energized something is going to happen there is growth things are beginning to happen you know it's that kind of energy with the sun um yeah, really beautiful energy, good news, celebration, joy, happiness. So we have the family. Now, it might well be to do with family matters. I mean, the sun can be a card of restoration. But it might also be for some of you, I mean, this can be how, how family has supported you into stepping into your light. So it could be you in a relationship. It can be you moving in with family. It could have been you needing family support. You know, it's that kind of energy. Um, so for some of you, that might resonate, Virgo. But what it's allowing you to do is finally let go. Let go. 
It feels in this situation you have been waiting, stuck. <coughs> yeah. Because the hanged man is a card of feeling stuck. And what have you felt stuck with? Well, we, we experience hanged man energies. I mean, it can be a card of feeling in limbo, waiting for something to play out. Things haven't quite aligned and we're just waiting. And it can be that kind of energy. I mean, sometimes, sometimes it can be about looking at something in a different way. So if it's the latter here, Virgo, it can be about looking at something in a different way in order to gain a new perspective, new illumination, answers, guidance, seeing the way forward, finding solutions, that kind of energy to release you from a period of being stuck. And again, uh, the Queen of Swords is somebody who has mental clarity. It can be to do with decisions, choices, or somebody who understands how to deal with the situation that feels a little bit overwhelming. And it feels like in terms of being in this period of limbo. Now, this Queen of Swords could be influential in bringing this Hamlin situation around as well, because sometimes this can be about um, struggling financially, you know, juggling money, literally. So it, it, the Queen of Swords is Libra energy, male or female energy, but it, it definitely feels in this perspective, in this situation, you're being told to look at something differently. Because the, the Two of Pentacles can be about prioritization, but it can also be about how you adapt as well, how you use your practical skills, knowledge to adapt to something that has challenged you, thrown you off balance. And this is this might be where family comes in because this can be about charity, receiving charity. Um, it could be like that could be part of the family situation, you know. Um, you might be being supported by family, you know. It can be that kind of energy. Um, it's also uh, it, it feels like an energy of, of not having enough as well. Feeling like you don't have enough. It feels more to do with money, career, finances, Virgo, I have to say, the more I look at this reading, uh, because the star energy is a card of hope, have hope, have faith. It's also an energy of you're going to get what you need with these cards on the table. Uh, you are being watched over by God, the divine, the universe, and you're going to get what you need, even though you might be feeling, you know, not having enough right now. Have faith, because it feels like for some of you, what you put your energy into now determines how you reap the reward. And it, the Six of Pentacles is also linked to the Law of Attraction. What you put your energy into is rewarded by the universe. So again, this feeling of prioritizing, adapt, focus how you need to adapt now practically. And even though you feel overwhelmed, there's definitely this energy if it's well within your capability to deal with, even though it doesn't feel like that. But it feels like there's a newfound clarity here on seeing the way forward in a situation and having hope, having faith. Stay hopeful. You're being watched over by God, the divine, the universe and given blessings, you know, with this star energy um, to be aligned to the right path for you. Two cards of strength here. Um, needing to be strong, needing to be in your power. And I see this Queen of Pentacles as... It could be you. I mean, generally this is Capricorn, but it, I mean, this Queen of Pentacles could be you, male or female energy. So, uh, she's somebody who uses her practical skills, knowledge, experience, and focuses it with unwavering faith in her own ability and patience to bring success her way. So there's definitely an energy of being patient, use your time wisely, focus on what is going to bring you value with unwavering intent. Because for some of you, I mean... There is definitely, she is a card of success. Now, it could well be somebody offering you, uh, making you an offer, that kind of energy, very good in terms of money and career. Um, but she is a card of abundance, 
um, growth, abundance as well. So there's definitely an energy if this is you. Growth and abundance is available to you. Stay strong, you know. Keep on using your time wisely. You have the power to overcome this situation by being in your strength, by staying hopeful. And again, the hanging man. So we have the five of cups. With the hanged man, which the five of cups, you can see there are three cups spilt on the floor and there's no putting the liquid back in those cups. It's gone. You can't change the past. Um, but there are two cups still full of hope, of uplifting energy here. Um, so even though this person is mourning something that's gone, that this can be about regret. This can be to do with something that's making you feel down or focusing on the negative. Call it what you will. Again, with this hanged man, you're being told to look at something in a different way because there are still two cups full of uplifting energy here. It's an energy of, of the situation isn't futile. You know, it, it's definitely this energy of there is still hope. You know, there is still hope, even though the situation looks negative even though you still feel a little bit in limbo and you might be just waiting for things to line up or maybe needing to look at something in a different way, there is still hope in this situation. And again, that's reinforced by the star energy. Even though there's a feeling of lack here, um, I mean, this can be to do with loss, this can be to do with um, regrets, something that you regretted, uh, difficulty in moving on from the past, something that may have disappointed you, something that's making you feel down, you know, it's that kind of energy. This is about, you need to connect to your power, your strengths. And the strength card was also about mastery of one's thoughts, how we perceive something, how we look at something. So it's really important with this reading here because again the strength card is how you bring positive change to a situation by being in your power face your fears your your doubts your uncertainties your adversities and understand how to overcome them for some of you it might well be looking at something in a different way for some of you it might well be the more you focus on the negative the more stuck you remain so this, it, it can be an energy of things may have not played out yet. There still may be a period of waiting here, Virgo, but there's definitely an energy with the sun of success is coming, good times ahead, the best is yet to come. It feels that kind of energy and it feels very positive. Um, and the sun card is a card of release, letting go. It feels like you will release from this hanged man. And as this is the predominant energy, it feels for some of you how you're looking at something. Maybe the answer to success or failure. It can also be a, an energy of where you might have been waiting for something to happen. All of a sudden something is energized. Something begins to happen, which brings happiness, joy, celebration, good news, material success. You know, this is a card of success into your life. You know, uh, definitely this green light energy, you know. Um, so definitely this energy of you will finally release from this hanged man, but just master how you're perceiving something this month. Um, but it definitely feels in this energy. I mean, this is definitely a form of release, liberation, letting go and feeling pretty good. So there's definite change on the cards. Let's clarify this sun. Let's clarify this sun for Virgo, please. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, the Wheel of Fortune. So that is what that sun is representing. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is a shift, good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth, prosperity, divine timing, things happening when they're meant to happen. So there is an energy of feeling, uh, things feeling futile beyond your control because they are, in a sense, with the Wheel of Fortune. Things are beyond your control because things happen when they're meant to happen. And it is an energy of things are going to change, things are going to shift. 
Um, again, with that Wheel of Fortune, this is the opening up of, of things like opportunity. As one door closes, another one opens. It's a powerful turning point. And it's to do with this, the Ace of Cups. Which can be, I mean, this can be, and it's a new beginning. The Ace of Cups is, in a sense, a cup of joy. Uh, it is a new beginning, an offer, opportunity that is bringing you joy. So this can be something is about to change in your life. Something is about to happen. It feels like you've been waiting for something to be energized. And then all of a sudden, it feels like that new life, things are beginning to happen and things are beginning to shift. So Ace of Cups can be in terms of love, romance, relationships can be in terms of creative opportunities, certainly very much connected with um, expressive in, you know, industry. So journalism, media, entertainment, um, creative industries, um, you know, the arts, culture, that kind of thing as well. So that might resonate for you. It is an opportunity in a sense that brings joy and happiness. Um, and it, it feels it comes after you feel that you're finding it difficult to move on from the past. I mean, sometimes five of cups, there may there could have been some kind of loss or challenge or difficulty or negativity happening in your life that has been difficult to move on from. And you felt stuck. You know, it feels that kind of energy. Well, the cup of joy is being offered because there is some kind of shift, change of fortune coming your way that is bringing in the beginnings of happiness, joy, and ultimately, the Ace of Cups is God, the universe, the divine. You are the vessel and God, the universe, the divine is pouring love and light into you. So it is your time to receive in whichever context, receive the happiness, the joy that you so desperately want, that you're waiting for. So, yeah, it's going to happen for sure for some of you. It feels very beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Final message for Virgo, please. Final message for Virgo. Yeah, and that's what that sun is telling you. The frog stepping into your power. Don't take a back seat in your story. It's time to step up. Um, but definitely this energy of stepping into your power, being reinvigorated, refreshed, restored. You know, it's that kind of energy. So very, very beautiful indeed. Very powerful cards, Virgo. So stay strong and just master those thought patterns. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you, Virgo, and I will see you next time. Thank you.